what up what up what up you already know this is heat and today we are at eliana's meat market i haven't been here in so long so peach patch i haven't been in the meat store in forever because i don't cook and when i do cook i just go to sam's club and Publix. but today i want some oxtails i want some cute steak um i need some turkey wings i'm gonna start back cooking like i used to let's go ahead and grab ourselves a buggy now it is raining the difference between like the hood and the suburbs is that in the hood when it's raining we don't come outside unless we have to like maybe the people in here food stamps just here or they really just need something for sunday dinner we don't come outside unless we have to versus in the suburbs them people don't care as long as it ain't um thundering everybody be outside caring on about their day like normal now peach patch outside they don't went up on their case of oxtails a case of oxtails is 110 dollars now Miss cut wings 40 pound case 59.99 drumsticks 40 pound case 29.99 so if you ain't never got no money baby go get you some chicken drumsticks and make them all kinds of way you got your three baby uh baby turkey wings three joints 30 pounds for a hundred dollars spare ribs 10 pound case for $59.99, two joint turkey wings, $69.99 for a case. I'm not going to get a case of food. I'm literally going to get just food for the week. I ain't going to lie, though. I might buy me some oxtails, like a whole case. But my kids, honestly, they don't care for oxtails like me and my husband do. So, Peach Patch, for those of you who aren't aware, it don't look like they're going by numbers, but I'm going to get one just in case. The number they got up there is 56. This number is 62. I'm going to get one just in case, but it don't look like they're really going by numbers today. So, for those of you who aren't aware, I host a class every single day. We meet every single day for 21 days at a time. It's called Wake Up With Peach. And in the class, today I had them, like, plan their week, plan their menu. I'm going to start back cooking. I hate cooking. And it's not because I don't enjoy cooking. It's because I hate, um doing dishes i can't stand doing dishes hey can i get two pot roasts i'm gonna cook pot roast tonight peach patch when i go home that's what i'm gonna make and i'm gonna get me some cut up cabbage so i ain't gotta worry about it i'm trying to like plan my meals out for the whole week which is challenging i know i want some oxtails sometimes this week um they got some beef short ribs my husband cut fry those they sell pepper steak and chicken steak stir fry I don't buy this stuff, guys. When we do pepper steak and um, chicken stir fry, we never do chicken. We mostly do pepper steak. We do it ourselves. They got beef neck bones. Let me get three pounds of oxtails. Let me see how many that is. I'm going to get some cute steak, too. All right, guys. So, for the two pot roasts, God damn, it's $47. Food is high. Food is high. They is nice and big, but God damn. Peach Patch, comment down below if y'all think that it would have been. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, look, I blame everybody who did fraud during the pandemic. Y'all the reason why everything high for us. Y'all. And y'all ain't got that money no more. I'm mad at y'all. If y'all would have just left the government alone, houses would have stayed cheap. Food would have stayed cheap. Thank you. I want to go ahead and get um five pounds of cube steak. So peach patch, five pounds of cube steak is thirty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. So we could do that one day this week. I'm trying not to make it be the same meats. Peach patch, y'all comment down below some meal planning ideas for those of you who plan your menu for the whole week in advance. I'm gonna start doing this every Sunday. Comment down below some tips. I do not like cooking though. That's the only thing about it. I hate cooking now. But it's mostly because I hate doing dishes. That's why. Uh, let me get. What? With the cube steak, five pounds is more than enough for my family. If I cook it, we'll have leftovers because my kids don't like my cube steak as much as their dad. If they daddy cook it, we ain't going to have nothing left over. So with this, I do pay attention to the scale. Remember the rule. I could cheat them, but they can't cheat me. So it got to be at least five pounds. But if it's over five pounds, still give me the five pounds price. There we go. That's fair. It's five pounds, six ounces. $32.99 for that peach patch. The next thing we're going to get is oxtails. Publix oxtails are more meaty, but they're way more expensive. So we're going to see. 
Comment down below if you guys still shop at the meat store or have you stopped? Are you guys seeing a price increase? I want to get three pounds of oxtails, please. All right, guys, just with these two meats alone, we already almost at $100. That's ridiculous. Stuff is so expensive now. Let me do the math for us. So for five pounds of cube steak, that cost us $32.99 plus the two pot rolls, $47.04. We're already at $80.03. Everything is so freaking expensive. And then with the oxtails, I say I'm only going to get three pounds because it's ten ninety nine a pound. But if it's not enough, then we might have to, you know, get more. But my kids don't really like oxtails like my husband and I. We really enjoy them. Another tip with oxtails that I've learned, haven't tried it yet, is that people will mix their oxtails with stew beef and some beans to make it be more. So, yeah, let's do one more pound. <laughs> I'm going to do one more pound. A case of oxtails. How many pounds is a case? 15 pounds would be $110. Yeah, I've seen it outside. They used to be cheaper than that, y'all. I went and made a video like a dummy, not a price that went up. That's the only thing about doing these type of videos. Every time I put y'all on to a good deal, the deal go away. All right, here we got some cut collard greens for those of you who want to cook greens, but you don't want to cook them yourself. These are $2.79 each. Over here is a bag of mustard greens. Oh, my God. Mix the mustard with some turnip greens baby and we call that a good time but this is what i want some cut cabbage because i want cabbage but i don't feel like chopping it up myself the cabbage is only one dollar and 69 cent a bag which is a great deal thank you i want to get some pork chops please we're gonna get four of the cut cabbage y'all know i have a husband and seven kids so we need a lot of food y'all baby food is expensive and i don't get food stamps Ugh. I got to get some net bones. My husband going to make some peanuts because my baby been asking for peanuts, Gregory McKay. All right, so over here, five pounds of pork chops is uh, $12.99. They used to be $9.99, guys. Now they $12.99. I think these actually used to be, I want to say $8.99 or something like that. And these used to be $9.99. Now these are $14.99. Everything just keep going up. With this one, five pounds is $7.99. Oh, okay, so they still cheap. These used to be $9.99. Let me get five pounds, please. So I'm gonna get five pounds of center cut and I'm gonna get five pounds of end cut. I'm probably only gonna cook one of these this week, keep the other one in a deep freezer, but I don't know which one it'll be. I ain't gonna lie, I prefer the meat store pork chops over Sam's Club pork chops. Sam's Club pork chops are too thickly cut um, and they just don't taste the same when you fry them. I think the meat store pork chops just taste way better. And once again, always make sure you cheat them. They don't cheat you. That was only 4.7. Okay, that's better. That's better. Treat me right. Treat me right. Let me cheat you a little bit. Y'all can afford it. These are rib tips. I've never seen or tried rib tips before. I think I had them like at a buffet, but I've never like prepared them myself. Let me do a little. Then over here, Peach Patch, we got some old school bacon right here. That old school thick cut bacon. I cannot get with it. And then you got your regular bacon. You got some ham pieces. This is new. I don't think I ever seen that here before. Yeah, and then um, they got smoked neck bones. I don't want any of those. Okay. Yeah. I want um, five pounds of the other pork chops. Okay. And we have here that pigtail. Okay. They got some pigtail. We finna definitely get us some smoked turkey wings. They got turkey tail, smoked turkey. We got them for you. Okay. Nicely thick cut. All right, I'm gonna get me a, um, some smoked turkey wings. Five pounds. Uh huh. I know I'm spending at least two hundred dollars in here, guys. I could just hear the math, just adding up, adding up. But guys, when you cooking like some butter beans. You could throw you some smoked turkey wings in there. So good. I'm going to get my husband to make those. And then when we cook poke, uh, not poke and beans, when we cook boiled peanuts, we love to use smoked neck bones. It just tastes better. They do have beef neck bones, but I prefer this. These kind. Is this pork? Yes. Pork. I prefer the pork neck bones. Even in um, my collard greens, I prefer those. All right. So those are $17.99. And that's a lot of meat, guys. So you're going to have to cook this whole pot. You can. I know some people eat whole 
pots and neck bones and turkey wings smoke. And baby, I ain't even gonna hold you. It's the uh, smoke neck bones, five pounds. So Peach Patch, while he do that, I don't think he gonna cheat me. I'ma go ahead and grab me some boiled peanuts. So when it comes to hey, when it comes to the boiled peanuts phenomenal and you, you could either get the regular kind or the spicy. I'ma get regular just because I know my kids don't really want this. These are $8.99 for five pound bags. I'm getting two bags. My husband will most likely just cook one. Um, and then say the other one. I could get one regular and one spicy. I'll get one more spicy to go in the deep freezer because McKay probably would prefer the spicy, but I know everybody would want some peanuts, so I don't want to get too many spicy ones. And the meat store is starting to get crowded. In the black community, Sundays is usually the day we go to the meat store and stock up for the week. And as y'all see when y'all see my Sam's Club vlogs, more white people, no offense to the vanilla peaches, they go out to the um thank you to the meat store i mean a sam's club on sundays and stock up for the week all right and then i'm gonna do five pounds of the center cut but when i point out these differences right with the demographics like okay black people in tampa florida like to do this and white folk in tampa florida like to do this it is not me being racist it's just a fact okay so don't get offended and be like oh she's being racist it's not a racist thing it's just a fact based on my own observations. They say they never give you less, always a little more. My kind of people, always give me a little more, baby. Cheat somebody else, not me. All right? So Peach Patch for $7.99, you get all these poke chop, y'all. And they fry up beautifully and they taste delicious. I'm gonna get some chicken. All right, so now we gonna come this way and grab us some chicken, Peach Patch. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey. Um, So we got our cube steak. Now we're gonna get us some chicken. Y'all, y'all could get a case of drums for $29.99. There is no need for you to be up and acting like you fucking starving. You can come up with $30, get you a case. You can fry them, bake them, boil them, put some barbecue sauce on them. Um, I don't want no chicken drums. I ain't broke and struggling right now. I want some chicken wings. Let me get five pounds of chicken wings, baby. That's a struggle food for me. I'll never forget when we was little, my mama was broke one time. We had to eat chicken drums. That's why I don't fuck with dark meat. We had to eat chicken drums every day. Chicken drums with eggs. Chicken drums with grits and eggs, if we was lucky that day. Um, Chicken drums barbecue. Chicken drums fried. Chicken drums stew. Jerk chicken drums. Every kind of chicken drums, baby. Only when I'm broke, I deal with it. Look, my family's so big, I need another five pounds of wings. All right, Peach Patch, so that's one five-pound bag. And because my family's so big, this don't look like enough. We're going to get another bag. These are some big chickens. I be liking them a little little, too. They be having, like, the baby wings. Um, They got some turkey wings. I might get some cut turkey wings. My husband like the tips. I like the center kind. Miss cuts are only $9.99 for five pounds. Peach patch. And then they got lead quarters. The mine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. And then they still have meat plans, but y'all know I never like the stuff on the meat plans, so I don't get meat plans. I just get what I want. Thank you. And then for five pounds of cut turkey wings, peach patch, it is $13.99. If you want to select your own pieces, they charge $2 extra making it $15.99. I'm going to go ahead and get some turkey wings. Look like that's popular today. They also got turkey neck and chicken gizzards. I haven't eaten gizzards in so long. I'm just, mm -mm, I'm just going to get five pounds of turkey wings. Uh-huh, cut. I don't know why. Unless I'm eating at Trick Daddy's, whole turkey wings scare me. They so freaking big. <laughs> like, I don't think we're supposed to be eating that. But, baby, when they cook it, it's a good time. Let's go ahead and grab us some rice. Now, Peach Patch, you can find this rice at Sam's Club, depending on which one you go to. The Sam's Club by my house hasn't been having this rice, and I love it. So we're going to get three of these. It's my little buggy child. And then I want to get some of these. These juices are so good. How much they is now? $21.99. Have they always been that high? Hold on, let me look. What about yourself? I'm doing all right. All right. You, you, you as well. All right, Peach Patch. So now I'm done. I got all the meat that I need. 
I think we done spent about two hundred dollars. I want to just go back and get me some seasoning. Let me look at the price right quick. All right, Peach Patch. Every time I'm in here, y'all always talking about this big bottle of complete seasoning. It is thirty dollars and ninety nine cent. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. I never buy it. I always just get the regular size one. Today, I am gonna pull the plug and get a big one. Over here is like the regular sizes that I get. It's only four fifty nine, but I'm gonna get the big boy. Oh, comment down below, should I? <laughs> so, Peach Patch, what I was going to tell y'all, um, I was going to make cabbage. Like, if I cook, I cook cabbage, but I kind of got a taste for collard greens. So, I might go back and grab me some collard greens, especially since I don't got to cut them. I still got to rinse them off and let my husband cook them for me. And I'm going to do them with the neck bones, the pork neck bones, not beef. So, Peach Patch, I keep going back and forth if I want to buy these drinks. They taste so good. I know my husband and kids will love them. But for $21.99, it's only $24 in there. That's like paying, it'll be like paying $0.92 cent for each one. Comment down below if y'all think that's a good deal. Hey, Miss Angie. All right, Peach Patch, let's see what our damage is going to be. I'm thinking maybe $2.50. If we're under $2.50, I will be excited. And I most likely will spurge on those drinks. But if not, I'm not buying those drinks. That's so expensive. I am going to go back and get some collard greens. Because if my husband cooked collard greens today, I can still cook cabbage um, another day this week. Oh, no, Peach Patch. We over budget. We are over budget. With the roast, it took us up to $291.91. Oh, Lord. But the good news is I went out to eat yesterday. Not out to eat, but I just ate out all yesterday. I spent $400 feeding my family eating out. So I did that in a day. I know that cooking at home is going to start back. Oh, sorry, man. Saving me money. So that's what we're going to do. Y'all going to be getting more cooking videos from me. And Peach Patch, I do not get food stamps. We're going to be putting this on my Navy Federal credit card. Shout out to Navy because, baby, when I'm in a barn, they be coming through. Also, I get some cash back, guys. All right, Peach Patch, our total ended up being $320.16. Comment down below how y'all think I did. A part of me feel like, girl, you did horrible. You should have just got the case of oxtails. If that was the dang on case. I literally could have came and just got a case of oxtails, a case of chicken wings, and a case of pork chops or something and been done. Pork chops, man, you'll get so many when you buy a case. If you ever struggling, that's probably the best way to go. And once again, I paid for this with my credit card okay credit card no food stamps still 